Here's another contingency table, or two-way table. So here, a survey was given, and this table breaks down the number of people who responded to this survey, who have received or not received a speeding ticket in the last year, and then whether their car was red or not. So speeding ticket, not speeding ticket, red car, not red car. And again, we're given the totals for each row and each column, but if we weren't given those, we could easily find them. We're asked to use this table, though, to find the probability that a randomly selected person from this group has a red car or got a speeding ticket in the last year. The probability that they have a red car or got a speeding ticket is the sum of those individual probabilities minus the overlap. Again, since these events are not mutually exclusive, since they can happen together, we need to consider the overlap and subtract it off. Since we're selecting from a group of 665 total people, that'll be the denominator for each piece. The probability they had a red car, well, the total number of people in this group who had a red car was 150. 15 of them got a speeding ticket, 135 didn't. But a total of 150 people in this group had a red car. The total number of people who got a speeding ticket is 60 because 15 people with a red car got a speeding ticket and 45 people without a red car got a speeding ticket for a total of 60. And then we need to subtract off the overlap, those with a red car and a speeding ticket. Because what we've done is we've added up this row and this column which double counted this overlap, the overlap of 15. So we need to subtract off 15 out of 665. Again, we could also do this problem by adding up, for instance, those with the red car, and then only adding on the extra ones that we need, the people who got a speeding ticket but didn't have a red car. Or we could add up this column of speeding tickets and then simply add on the extra people who had a red car without a speeding ticket. Either way, we get to the answer that this probability is 195 out of 665. And if we write that as a decimal, it's approximately 0.293. So close to 30% of the subjects in this survey either had a red car or got a speeding ticket in the last year.